Welcome back to Red Glasses and Talks. The topic for today is worry wart. So a friend of mine said, uh, I won't say how worried and insecure people are, but dial a prayer just added two more numbers. Think about that one. Rodney Dangerfield, one of my favorite comedians of past years, he was often worried about what people thought about him and if they even knew him. He went to a rest home to encourage the people. He walked up to a lady sitting in a wheelchair. Do you know who I am? She said, no, but if you go to the front desk, they might be able to help you. So uh, how do we deal with worry? Have you heard about the worry company? The worry company, listen to this. The worry company advertised itself as the world's leading provider of worrying services. Forget your worries. Your worrying days are over, they allege. Let us worry for, for you and for your friends. So what does the Bible say about worry? I'm just going to give you one verse. You might want to read all of it. Matthew chapter 6, beginning with verse 25 to the end of the chapter. But if you go to verse number 34, this is what it says. Jesus says, Jesus, the Son of God, the Jesus who made people, the Jesus who has control of everything, said this. So don't be anxious or worry about tomorrow. God will take care of your tomorrow too. Let one day be enough time to live for one day. Don't worry.